Hello everyone! In this how-to video, you will find a step-by-step -step guide on how to update the style, such as color and pattern of different population groups within a Safeti model. Some of our users have found that it is useful to assign different colors to different population groups in order to differentiate them from one another. As you will see, all population groups within my Safeti model have an olive shade and border. This includes the on-site and off-site populations, and it is not easy to set them apart and can be difficult when interpreting or analyzing the results. So, what some of our users have done is to assign a different color or shading to each of these groups. The population specified will take the style properties specified within the population categories. By default, all populations are not assigned to any category. So, in this example, I do know in advance that I have three population groups within my model. One for on-site, as you can see here. Another one for public populations in here and another one for our neighboring facilities. Now, I will start updating the population categories within my model. First, ensure that you are in the risk tab and go to the population categories. In this example, I will utilize the operators category and rename it on-site. I double click on the on-site category and select a different color under general. And change the area color as well and then click OK. I will do the same for my public population category. Double click and change the color as appropriate. Change the area color as well and then click OK. As I don't have a neighboring facility category, I will utilize the other category, rename it, and call it neighboring facilities. Double click on the population category and change the color accordingly. Click OK. Now that I have differentiated between my different population categories, I will now start specifying population categories for my different population groups. I go to my population folder and start specifying the category for each of my populations. For the SW village, this is included within the public group, so I will specify public within the category option. Click OK. Repeat the process for all the different populations. The North facilities belong to the neighboring facilities category group, so I will select that and click OK. The on-site are all within the boundary of the on-site facility, so select on-site. Once all of this is done, the 2D images in the GIS input window should reflect the changes that I have made. I will now run the model in order to ensure that these population categories are shown within my results. Run risk and then run the scenarios. My model has finished running. In this results window, you will see that the multi-level contours I generated shows the different population groups I defined. Thank you and hope that you enjoyed this how-to video.